Hello? 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 Are you there? Hello? Are you there? Yes. Hello? Yes. I hear you. Go ahead. Hello. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm all right. Okay. What do you say yeah, about your, your brother? He was saying that Allah, he said to Adam B and he was. Did Allah created Adam by saying B? Uh, I heard he was created in stages. Right. So why, why Allah is lying, saying that Adam is the same as Jesus, when neither Jesus or Adam was created by B? Why the Quran is giving us a very simple, because he's trying to prove to us that Adam and Jesus are the same. But neither Adam, neither Jesus was saying was created by B. So how stupid it is to say, I created you by saying B, but he did not create neither Adam, neither Jesus by B. Uh, uh, don't, he you, was created. don't you agree with me uh, that this is stupid from God to claim such a thing? Uh, he was clearly not uh, created by just one he was created in the womb correct uh, and the quran Jesus. never and, and the god of islam never created anything according to the quran by b anything nothing not the trees not the mountains not the land not the earth not the sun not the light nothing so why he, the quran lying saying why the god he, of islam contradicting himself saying that he created by saying b but when he never did say b and nothing created by b you know what Hmm. Uh, when uh, we say uh, uh, Jesus was created, uh, but created means he was introduced, not that he was uh, grown up man. Okay, he was, he was what? introduced. Uh, when, uh, he was in uh, beginning to develop in the mother's womb. Okay. Okay. Where Jesus, beginning. where Jesus was before he was created, according to Islam. According to Islam, he was. I don't know deep uh, about this stuff. You, if you know, well, is it, is it, isn't it the Quran says that he is the word of Allah and he sent it down to Mary? Yes. Okay. So where is the word of Allah was? Uh, word of Allah, probably with him. Okay. So Jesus came from heaven, right? Heaven, I don't know, uh, um, because heaven is a creation of God, you know? No problem. But the, mm -hmm. as an example, chapter 3, verse number 45, it says that the angels came to Mary and says, Oh Mary, Allah give thee the glad tidings of a word from him. His name, mm -hmm. here the first translation saying will be, it doesn't say will be, it says his name is Christ Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he have a name. Not will be. Mm -hmm. This is a far translation. He have, do you know Arabic? I can show you the Arabic. Okay. No, I don't know. Okay, Arabic. it says, okay. Not his name will be. So his name is the Messiah. Uh, okay. Isa, not Jesus, doesn't say Jesus here. The son of Mary. So now what we have? We have a word from God who is coming down to earth. And that word, his name is Christ. Do you agree with that? I I think uh, here the word means the, the news of the pregnancy, okay? Yeah, but this is not what a question. This is not what I'm saying. I'm saying, my friend, okay. that Jesus, before he came to Mary, he was what? He was a word from God, Okay. Right? okay. Let me read it. Behold, the angels, O Mary, Allah, give it the glad tidings of a word from him. Hmm. His name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary held in honor in this world and the hereafter and of the company of those nearest to Allah. Hmm. Okay, here of a word from him. Hmm. Word from him means what? The news of the pregnancy, the news of the uh, miraculous birth he will be. No, will be. no. You see, the, glad, the news is that he will have, I, I, I'm sending to you a word coming from God, which is, mm -hmm. A person who his name is a Christ can the word be a man in the same time it's a word and a man in the same time was Jesus what, what? was what Jesus exist when the angels said to, to to Mary that I am coming to you with the news of a word you see uh, uh, 
anyone can be existed in any time because uh, before i was born i was in the form of soil you you, may, you might say uh, this, I was, is, this is a, this is yeah. a false philosophy my friend this is not really this is not real because i can say that adam before was exist he was uh, he was a dirt that's not really uh, this is not logical we are when we talk about uh, uh, adam we talk about adam as a person not adam as a, a bush of dust so you know that yes a person yeah. a person can also have various uh, different stages a person may be a child a person may be grown yeah, but, up but mary now she isn't written it yet she is because after that allah he breathed into her he breathed after that allah breathed so jesus is not there and allah did not say to to, to mary uh, being pregnant and she was he did an action he did a breathe the same as he did to adam in adam he did make a mud and then he breathed into the figure of the mud in the case of jesus it says so allah he blow into her vagina which is very disgusting and stupid to say because if God is God, as the as the the, the previous uh, Abdul he said, that Allah he said be is going to be, as long Allah he can say be is going to be. So what was the point of breathing into the vagina of Mary? Can you tell us? No, I cannot tell us what's the point. What is the point, but... really? What is the point if he is going to create him by saying be? If the similarity between Adam and Jesus is be and was, but neither Adam. Neither Mary, neither uh, Jesus, neither any of us was uh, created according to Islam by saying be nothing in this I world created in Islam by be Allah. He took him two days to create the earth, the four days to create ev everything on top of the earth, and then two days to create everything in the heaven and, 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 and the stars. Yes, the B indicates the beginning of the stages. Okay. And uh, when he my says friend, the no, there's no beginning. <clears throat> there's no beginning, my friend. There's no beginning because the uh, B will make you exist, not beginning to exist. So yes, Allah did not create the mud by saying be mud. Allah did not you create see, the earth uh, by saying okay. Uh, show, show me my, my 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 friend my friend. Don't don't give me philosophy. Don't give, don't give me philosophy. You are giving me philosophy. You look like you are you are you are, you are under the influence of the Hindus. Are you? <laughs> no. Okay. So why you are saying to me the beginning and uh, this is philosophy? We are talking about religion, not philosophy now. When the God of you Islam, see, my, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend, does the Quran says, does the Quran says we we breathe into her vagina? Yes or no? Does it say that? I don't know. Hmm? Breathe we, into we, her. We can we can I, find I, we can I, find that in many verses in the Quran, as an example, chapter twenty-one, verse number ninety-one. Right. Okay, let's okay. see. So the Quran says clearly that Allah He breathed into Mary vagina, and you know uh, 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 He made her pregnant by that breathing, not by saying be. <coughs> so why he, why he didn't say okay we created Adam the same as Jesus by breathing, that will be accurate, according to the Quran, but saying be and he was that's a stupid example because he did not say be. And never was by saying be. Same as Adam. Like if you go in the Quran, it says that وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ Okay, what does that mean? Ajula, that's mean that a human being was in, in uh, uh, ever hasty. Okay, what does that mean? If you go and see the interpretation, you will find. This is chapter 17, verse number 11. You will find that a human being, when Allah was creating him, Adam, and that's the story of Adam, Adam said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. You know the story, right? And no, I said that. Okay, again. let me let me show you. 1711. This is Ibn Kathir, the favorite Abdul for the Muslims. Oh, the website is not working. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us see chapter 17, verse number 11. Right. It says the file cannot be found. <laughs> Error. Let us try again. Not, it's not working. I don't know why. Let me click at the page from the beginning again. Let us see.
no it's not working anyway you can see the story where it says that when Allah he breathed into Adam uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, let us see if in this website maybe we can get the story here from different uh, uh, 17 Yeah, this one doesn't give us yeah it doesn't give us the details in here but in Ibnika theory we see the details that when Allah he breathed into Adam Adam when he when when after Allah he breathed into him he tried to open his eyes and before his soul reached to his limbs he sneezed he said at you so Allah he said to him bless you and then Adam he said Alhamdulillah <laughs> Adam is born he speak Arabic <laughs> do you really believe in this garbage that Adam is born he speak Arabic really I mean this, I isn't it obvious sure. that this is really stupid I mean who, who how, how you can believe in such a uh, madness Adam he speak Arabic right away he said Alhamdulillah no. and then Allah he said to him uh, uh, may, may your Lord bless you if Allah is his Lord how he said to him may your Lord bless you <laughs> unbelievable and then uh, 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 before the soul of Adam reached to his limbs, which means to his feet, supposedly he wanted to stand up, he could not. So he said to Allah, Allah, please finish me before the sunset. How in the world, Adam, he knew that the sun is going to set? He is just, he's not, he's in the process of making. So when that Abdul, he says that Allah, he gave Adam, he, he, he created Adam, same as Jesus by saying, Be, that is the most stupid argument Allah he came with and Muhammad came with because neither Adam neither Jesus was created by same being correct in a sense that uh, uh, be and become a grown-up man no they are not created right. like that let me ask you I want to give you a chance I don't want to criticize Islam I want to give you a chance to prove to me Islam is coming from the true God as a Muslim what do you want to do to me I mean what is the most strong argument your Muslims have for us to prove Islam to be a true religion uh, probably the concept of God what, what is the concept of God where we can find the concept of God in Islam Surah Iqlas hmm. no, it doesn't say it says huh? yeah it's not doesn't say yeah. Now, let me ask you what Ahad means. Ahad uh, means one. That's not, not, not true. Ahad means one off. So, how Allah He says that He is one off? That is a mistake. You can go right now, I can type for you the word Ahad in the Quran, and you will find that the word Ahad always come as one off, never as one. Here we go. I will type the word ahad in the front of you on the screen. I want you to look with me. You can copy, take a okay. snapshot. Here we go. Okay, ahad. Here we go. Look, all those verses. Ma min ahad. You see the word ahad? Ahad. All of those are ahad. Okay. If we search now for the word ahad, we will find the Quran always. Any choose for me any verse you want. Have the word. All those verses have ahad. Choose any of them, and you will see that always the word ahad come as one off. But in the sentence, Kul hmm? Kul uh, ahad, that, that is a wrong verse. <laughs> in order to be one of, there must be one of uh, what? One of God. Right. Okay, but let me ask you. Let me ask you if there is any other creators in Islam? Creators, hmm. what do you define as a creator? Well, the one who created Adam is Allah, right? Yes. Okay. If there's any other creators beside Allah who created the human beings? Human beings? Uh -huh. uh, if Allah give anyone the power to create, then he might be able to okay. create. Okay, that's a good a good answer. Who is the one Allah gave him the ability to create beside him? I think Jesus was given. Okay, so now we have two creators. We have Allah and Jesus. Uh, but this creator was 
Jesus was given the power, but Allah has His own power. But no problem. But so, Jesus, now He became a creator, correct? Yeah, you can say that. Hmm. Okay. He was the creator of a bird. Okay. Jesus, He can create a human being. Can He resurrect a human being from death too? Yes, He was given the power. These are these are called models. But isn't it the Quran said <clears throat> that only Allah can resurrect people from death? It is the one who created it the first time. I think it says that. Okay. Uh, in chapter 36, verse number uh, 77 and 78, it says, and 70 and 79, they said, say, okay, uh, who is the one who can make uh, uh, people come back to life? Who is the one? Did the human being forget who? Uh, the origin of the creation says who can give life to the dry bones do you see the the verse my friend in the in the screen that's number what huh this is chapter 36 verse number 78 78 and he makes hmm. comparisons for us and forgets his own origin and creation he says who can give life to dry bones and decomposed one hmm. at that so who can yeah. give life let us see the answer allah answer say say allah saying to muhammad say he will give them life who created them from the first time only that person can bring life back to uh, is the one who created them first time is that mm -hmm. is that correct yes well if jesus can resurrect you from death that's mean he is the one who created you first time because this is what the verse but saying the verse saying but, that the one who can create you, he can bring you back to life, is the one who created you first time. But this power of Jesus was given by someone else. My friend, it doesn't if, matter. Listen, if, listen. If the Quran confirm that the one who can bring you back to life is the one who created you first time, that means Jesus is the one who created you first time. The Quran did not say, and Jesus Christ can do that. No, the Quran is saying that the one who created you first time is the one who can bring you back to life. There's no other option. Do you see other options there? Because I think if you study law, mm -hmm. there will be some laws uh, that will be plain laws, and in other laws, you will find some stipulations because Quran is a whole book. And yes, my friend, uh, no problem, no problem. We are not saying it's not a whole book. But the Quran confirm in every verse in the Quran that the one who bring you back to life is the one who created you first time. Do you see anywhere in the Quran it says that the one who creates someone back from death is different from the one who created you first time? No. The Quran confirmed that in many places. So if this is if Jesus he can bring you back to death from death to life, that means this is a contradiction. Unless Jesus himself is your God. My friend, you can tell this is a contradiction, but to me it is not a contradiction. Because so explain I think... to me, okay, why, first of all, what is the logic that Allah, he gave his power? Now, because now we discovered that Jesus have two power. The power of a creation, a human being, from nothing, and the power of a, crea of a creation, you, from dust again, when you are dead and bones. Why Jesus can't do that? Are you there? Don't you listen to me? Okay, now I hear you. So what is the reason Jesus was given the ability to create you and the ability to resurrect you? I can I cannot tell you the reason, but I can tell you that he was given this power. Hmm. I cannot tell do you, you have, the reason. Do you have a proof that he was given? What is the proof? proof? What is the proof that Jesus was given from Allah such a power? I can say I gave Jesus the power. You can say that too. If there is any proof that Allah can do even what Jesus did, did Allah did to Muhammad any miracle in his time? Uh, miracle. Hmm. Why, why, why Allah cannot do what Jesus can do? Here we go. The Quran confirmed that Jesus can resurrect you. Jesus can create you. Okay. So why Allah cannot do what Jesus do? We have a proof that Jesus did. Even the Quran witnessed for that. Muhammad witnessed for that. Unless he's a liar. Now, can Muhammad witness for us that his God Allah did create anything? Yes, 
where how show me what is the miracle of what, what is the miracle of Allah happened during the time of Muhammad where he can create anything by the way you are touching the mic and you are losing the sound don't touch it please you can hear me now I hear you go ahead uh, because you said earlier that Allah created Adam I did not say that this is the Quran saying, but what is the proof? I can say I created Adam too. Yeah. You see, in order in order to say a miracle and to claim a miracle, you have to have witnesses. Have you ever heard even a crime need witnesses? Even marriage would need witnesses. When you get married as a Muslim, you need two witnesses, correct? Yes. Okay, so everything, even if you take money, you borrow money, the Quran says you have to have witnesses. So okay, if we if we have if we need to have witnesses in a city stuff which is about money, shouldn't we have witnesses about God? Who is the one who will witness to your God that he was able to do any miracle? Nobody. My friend, don't touch the microphone. When you touch the microphone, you are making a bad noise and I'm losing you. Are you there? Are you there? Fix your microphone and call me back. Fix one. Are you there? Are you there? Uh -huh. Okay. So, do you have any proof that Allah can create anything? Uh, I no. I, I will give you. I will give you a clear proof that Allah can do nothing. As an example, you know the story when the angel came to Muhammad and he told him what Allah told him, right? About when he came to him to the cave. What Allah he said to Muhammad in the cave? Did he say to him, "Read"? Yes, okay. recite. I think. All right. Okay, he said to him, read it three times. Why Muhammad was not able to read if Allah is God? Jesus says to the blind man, see, he saw. He said to the man who cannot walk, walk, he walk. Why Allah cannot do what Jesus does? Allah said to Muhammad, the three times read, and still Muhammad cannot read. How does this happen? Uh, because uh, it was not Allah saying that read. No, this is no, 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 no. This is Allah. No, this is Allah. Because the, remember, in the Jibreel, he is just bringing the word of Allah, not to his word. It's not him who is saying read. Jibreel is just carrying the word of Allah. Do you agree? All right. If he cannot read, uh, but then why he could understand uh, that he is saying read? No, he did not understand anything. Uh, the, the angel, he squeezed him three times and there's no ketchup, no mayonnaise coming out. So the angel, because Muhammad is being ignorant, uh, obviously, and he don't understand him. So the angel, he said to him, read, which Allah, he commanded him to say to him, read. And Muhammad says, uh, read what? Like, uh, you know, and the Muslim, they say, no, this means he cannot read. Okay. So why Muhammad saying to him, I cannot read. And the angel insists to say to him, read. What is the point? If he will not make a miracle, here we go. Muhammad cannot read. And then I squeeze him again. And I say to him, read. And then he said, I cannot read. And then I squeeze him again. And I say, read. And then he said, I cannot read. And then I squeeze him again. And I say, read. And he say, I don't read. I know how to read. So what's the point of this drama? Why Jesus said to the blind man, see, he saw. He said to the man who cannot walk, walk, he walk. Why Allah, he said to Muhammad, read it three times, still is not working. I don't know the reason. I will, I will tell you the reason because this is a false God because if God he said to a donkey read even if it's a donkey he will read Don't you agree with me? If God he said to a camel yes, speak he will speak God. Okay, so how Allah he said to Muhammad a three time read after three squeezing still Muhammad he have no idea what's, what, what's going on I don't know the reason actually mm. Let me tell you what is the reason because obviously this is a fabricated story because there's no way God he cannot explain to his prophet what he meant at least at least obviously Muhammad he don't even know what's happening and why Allah cannot explain himself he will go he's speaking to Muhammad and Muhammad did not get it why why Allah is making an order that the Abdul before you who called me he said Allah if you want to say something to happen he said B is going to be here we go he said B he said read mm -hmm. three times and yet Muhammad the poor guy he cannot read I feel sorry for him All right, friend. I was uh, I called you to uh, ask you something about Christianity. No problem, uh, my friend. But, uh, but before you ask me about Christianity, what do you think about this foolishness in Islam? Do you agree that this is stupid? The story is stupid. What do you think? I think I have some lack of understanding in these stories. No, but I mean the like, story here about 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 uh, about Muhammad. He cannot read. Don't you think this is story is stupid? Because there is no way that God, he said to a man, read it three times, and still he will not be able to read. Because God, as your Quran says, 
if you want something to happen he said he is going to be and here we go he said to him read it three times and instead Muhammad he have no idea he went to his wife he said to her cover me cover me uh, 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 you know and he started shaking and breaking and going crazy and freak out so why Allah could not even explain himself to Muhammad what do you think? I don't know. The, I don't know. But you, don't you agree with me? Be honest. Don't you agree that stupid here? The story here is a stupid. I think many of the stories in the hadith and the way Muslims uh, tell that weak hadith is false is stronger. I think think this hmm. uh, argument of weak. But this strong, is a Sahih al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, and the Muslim they say this is a very authentic. No, hadith. I think that the whole point is very stupid. That this. Uh, this is strong okay this thank is you very weak. much so we agree that the story here in the hadith at least is a stupid what about the quran because the quran says that story allah he said to muhammad in the quran read isn't it allah who said to him read in the quran are you going to say now the quran is false uh, allah didn't and tell him to read because no it quran, was no no <laughs> my friend the quran is said clearly and actually many places say to him that allah he said to him uh, uh read you know so how we say that allah how we say the story in the hadith is false when the quran confirmed the same story saying that allah he said to him read Allah said to him, read, or there is something written, Jibreel brought. What? Uh, I think Jibreel probably brought some written materials to Muhammad in the cave. No problem. Okay, so, I, I will go with you with this theory. Guys, Jibreel, he brought him some written material. How stupid it is from God to send Muhammad written material, but Muhammad cannot read. You just confirmed to me i'm not insulting you by the way you, you sound like a nice guy gentleman but you just confirmed to me that your god is a stupid because it, here we go you bring me a letter and i cannot read and you say to me read so who's a stupid here either you are going to do make a miracle of me i cannot read and you say to me read and suddenly i am a person who can't read or it's a stupid to say to me read and you give me a letter but i cannot read Like you are saying, if someone is a known Ill illiterate person, it is stupid to bring something written material to right, him. Right, right. Because say, uh, don't Allah he knew that Muhammad is illiterate? What do you think he knew, right? Of course. Okay, so how he bring him a letter to read, but Muhammad cannot read? So what the point? Yeah. Okay, if Jesus, let me, let, me, let me, my friend, let my friend. Uh, 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 if Jesus said to the blind man, "Look at me." And the blind man is a blind. He would say, like, what? I'm blind. What are you talking about? So if Jesus said to him, look at me, if he is God, should make him be able to see, right? Because there's no point to say to a blind man, look. Do we agree? Yes, it's miraculous. Okay, that's that's stupid, actually, to say to him, look at me, but the guy is blind, and you know he's blind, and supposed to you are God. But look, Jesus, he made the blind see. He made the one who cannot walk. Like when, when Jesus said to the man he cannot walk who is, who is sitting down in the ground when he said to him carry your bed and, and, and walk the guy should say to him like what are you talking about how I can walk he did not do that he carried the bed and walk here we go we have Jesus who is the God of the Christian he said to the man who is a blind see he saw he said to the man who cannot walk walk he walk and we have the God of Islam who he knew supposedly that Muhammad cannot read read and he gave him as you said written material to read and he's still Muhammad cannot read. So who is the false god here? I think I have a lot to learn and understand before the uh, judging what is. But but my friend, we have uh, we have to be it, honest here. I mean, come on, it's, isn't it clear for you? Be honest with me. Isn't it clear that there is something fishy here in the story? Yeah, there is something fishy because. Thank you very much. Here we go. See, there is something fishy. So as long as there is something fishy, that's mean Muhammad is a fishy prophet. He cannot be a prophet. This story is, must be fabricated. There is no way Muhammad here received an order from his God to read, and yet he cannot read. For this is against the nature of God, because if God, he say, be, is going to be, as the Quran said, that said, Allah said to him, read, he will read. 
if you see if God if God he said let us say there's a there's a 1 billion human being army with heavy arms and he said to you you will be victorious do you think you will be victorious or not against them uh, sorry I cannot hear you if if I am fighting now let us say all of the country of China is going to shoot at me they have missiles mm -hmm. they have bombs and God said to me hey Christian Prince I will be I will give you victory do you think God will keep his promise because he's almighty God of course okay here we go so if God is God then it doesn't matter really how how difficult the issue is what God he say is going to accomplish Allah he said to Muhammad okay. read and still Muhammad cannot read isn't it obvious that when the Quran confirmed that in front of us read in the name of your Lord who who, who create okay the guy okay okay I, I cannot read and then he squeeze him again read I cannot read so the Quran confirmed the story the hadith confirmed the story but it confirmed in the same time according to you Muslims that Muhammad cannot read what do you think my friend are you willing to leave Islam Actually, I have a lot of doubt in ministries in Islam, mm. but I want to ask something to you about Christianity. Okay, I will I will tell you about Christianity, but come on, let us first confirm that Islam is not good for you no more. Obviously, it's stupid religion, it's cult. Because actually, I think I'm a novice in, in Islam, Islamic education. I want to learn, okay? Mm. I want to learn more and read more about yeah, here we go. I, I will be happy to help you always watch my videos but obviously if one if we discover one lie the rest is a lie God is not a liar correct of course okay here this is a lie this cannot be God this is Quran God cannot be a liar this is a lie the same as in the Quran says that uh, uh, God he created the man from the sperm of the women the man came in from the backbone and the sperm of the women came in from the ribs that's stupid this is cannot be God the same as the God he said that he created you from a sperm drop of semen and then the drop of semen became a congealed blood that is a lie a human being will not go through any of those processes there's no way to teach but no, Muslims sign. claim that uh, these are miracles that's that a lie I, they are lying I, my friend they are lying I the, they are, this is a big fat lie I challenge any Muslim who have who claim that this is a miracle to call me here we go I'm live on air I have 1,000 almost 200 people watching who dare to call me and say this is a this is a miracle that is the opposite because when the Quran says that Allah created you from Allah he just he just he, you know proved to us that he's a false God because Allah is a congealed blood dead blood oh how what kind of God he say at a human being he created you from a congealed blood that's stupid how that can be who in the world want to believe in such a thing? Which is a translation you like, my friend, more? I don't have a preference. I read. Okay. Yeah, but you, you see, all the translations say is that he was created from congealed blood. How, how, how God can say such a stupid thing? This is going to be God. That's stupid. Very simple, you know. You can go right now and check in any uh, any uh, scientific website. It's not a Christian website, you know. Any, any have just science, you know. Mm -hmm. This is stupid. Then we made a notfa into a cloth. There's a, the 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 notfa. The notfa is not. It's a drop of semen. That's mean millions of semen. They became a cloth of a congealed blood. How such a mistake can be happen? The semen would transform into a congealed blood, and that would be the baby. No semen and egg will create. There's no egg. You see, the Quran speak about about something else. How how the uh, maybe baby and the women they, they come together, uh, and Muhammad explained it that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone. This is in chapter eighty six, verse number seven, and the women have a sperm coming from her ribs, and look specifically the location of the necklace. And I can show you that even Muhammad explained that in the hadith. Muhammad in the hadith he said, the messenger of Allah said that the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. And which of them comes first? The child will resemble the parent, which means will be a boy or a girl. Do you agree with this stupidity? 
that if a man have orgasm course, first, no. okay, so you are smarter than this, my friend. How you can believe in such a garbage? This is science. They lie. They lie to people. You know, we we are here to get them busted. I am live on air every day, and no I Muslim. also think that uh, hadith for uh, weak, strong. My friend, this is this is this is a strong. Are, this is a sahih. This is a sahih hadith. The, this is a sahih hadith. This is a sahih hadith. Do you see it? It says sahih. Yeah, I I know. I believe that all the sahih and other other two. My friend, we, but this is Quran. This is Quran too. We call Quran chapter eighty six, verse number seven. This is not only hadith. Okay, we got. Let us get, get, throw the hadith to the garbage. What about the Quran? The Quran says that, and we showed you the other verses too. So we're speaking about Allah. He made you from a, from a sperm into a congealed blood. So this is a stupid thing to say. It's not. It's not like it's not one mistake. It's all over the Quran. Quran is a book of mistakes. It's a chain of mistakes, endless mistakes. How God He say that you are created from a gash in fluid coming from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. This is garbage. Based in the Quran, with my respect to you and your wife or if your family, Muslim women, they have a breast in, in the testicles. They have testicles in their, in their chest in the location of the necklace specifically. This is what the word Taraib means. Taraib is not only the ribs. Taraib is the location of the necklace specifically for women. So Allah created you from a gashing fluid coming from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So the gashing fluid came in from two sources: the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is the location of the necklace. Do you believe in this garbage? This is Quran now. What you will do? No, I don't believe that. Uh, okay, so say here we go. The... Say I'm out of Islam. You don't believe in the Quran. That's wonderful. So say I am out of Islam, my friend. But if it says that uh, uh, semen can come from the backbone and ribs, then it's obviously false. Okay, here we go. It's in front of you. This is Quran. This is Quran, my friend. This is not Hadith. Tafsir even Abbas. It's Forget about Tafsir. It even Arabic, it says there, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ At Taraib, you can go and check now. Taraib is the location of the necklace of the women. Arabic language is very rich. They name part of the bones. So the location where the two ribs in the top, where the location of the necklace meet, that is called Taraib. And they call it that name for the women. Leave so here we go. Mm -hmm. But do you want more? Leave us now, my friend. I think I'll study more about Islam and you see you are scared you are scared you, are, you just say that you just say this is stupid you just admitted that this is stupid so why you don't want to say I think it, it actually says my friend here we go thing. in front of everybody do you think really all the Muslim scholars they misunderstood do you think the Muslim scholars who don't speak Arabic all of them they get it wrong all the scholars they say that this is about the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women let me ask you a question. Which scholar you like me to show you? Name one. I don't have any. Yeah, but uh, you see, different. when I say anyone you wish, that's mean I am very sure, correct? Because you might yeah. choose someone, maybe he say the opposite, but all of them they agree that this is, here we go, this is Ajalalain. We change Ibn, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. This is a very early Muslim scholar, the, the earliest actually. But this is Ajalalain issuing from between the loins of the man. By the way, it doesn't say loins, it says backbone. Of the man and the breast bones of the women. Forget about Ibn Abbas. We can go to the Arabic the, the, because here we have. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let us see if Ibn Kathir is working now. Let us try. What is this verse number and chapter number? Chapter 86, verse number 7. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chapter 86. 86. Yeah. 86 verse. Number seven. Seven. Hmm. This is Ibn Kathir. Here we go. It's working now. It says, He created you from gushing forth fluid, uh, gushing uh, uh, water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid. So the Quran claimed that women have a gushing. He, he, 
chapter 86 verse verse 5 to 7 yeah you can read it all so anyway. let, it's a short it's a short chapter let anyway. man observe from what he was created mm. He was created. I will let you read for me. Street. I want you read for me. I will be back in a second. I will get some water, please. Okay, you can go. I will hear you. Go. Uh, uh, so let man observe from what he was created. He was created from a fluid ejected, emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. Indeed, Allah, to return him, is able. The day when secrets will be put on trial yeah it is saying imagine from between the backbone and the ribs what does it mean from between from between means what all right are you there yes um okay yes. Did you, so did you see it you see imagine it? From between the backbone, backbones and the ribs. From between. What does it mean by from between? It's between the because it is two person, the man and the women. So between the man and the women, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. That's what between mean. Between what? There's a there's a man and there's a woman. Do you see Ibn Kathir? Here we go. But, Proceeding from between. The word between here mean what? The backbone and the ribs. Okay, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Do you see it? And here it says, these are and, here, and here it says, these and, here, are and, here, and, here, and here it says, which is referring to her chest. But the fact but in the actual verse, Quran, Quranic verse, not the. Tafsir. Does it my friend? Say, my friend, we are yeah. using tafsir because it's to show you that this is what it's meant. I'm not, I don't care really for tafsir, but those are people who speak Arabic very well, and those are the ones who defend Islam. Ibn Kathir, he don't he never explained the Quran, by the way. He is defending Islam. Ibn Kathir, all his book, because Ibn Kathir he lives in Syria, so he 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 is surrounded by Christians who they always expose Islam and see and, and see how stupid it is. So Ibn Kathir, he made his book based on the accusation, trying to defend it. So, and look, this is after defending, look what came came with. He could not hide it. So, Taraib mean, read with me. This is what Taraib. Taraib in Arabic mean the following, referring to hairy chest. And in fact, in Arabic, it doesn't say only that. It says the location of the necklace. All right? So, it's very clear. The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, i.e., the fluid is yellow. The fluid of the women is yellow. And fine. But how texture. can he is how is he is able to tell all the details? How, very how simple. Very, very simple. No, very simple. Because the word taraib is only for the bones of the ribs where the location of the necklace. Only for women. We don't say taraib. Okay. We don't say taraib for the location of necklace of a man because he don't wear necklace. So here is the Torah I provide to us. This is speaking about what a soul is only, only for the man. This is why they say means sulbi abi, sulbi abi, which means the backbone of his of his father. Because Muhammad is copying what the Arab before him believe. They believe that the person is coming from the backbone of 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 of, of the man. Why? Because when man have too much sex, he feel that he have like a. Weakness in, his, in, in, in that area, but but this is stupid. So, but because they because of that false belief, the Muhammad he came with the conclusion, as the Arab they believe before him that the baby, the man, his sperm coming from there, and the woman she have a sperm coming from her ribs. So, my friend, what you will do now? You want to stay as a Muslim? Come on, I mean, it's very clear. Uh, is there any hadith uh, explaining this? Part? Sure, sure, no problem. Here we go. Tons of hadith, no problem. Let us start with this one. Here we go. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, he have a clinic. And people, they come to ask him questions about sex. The messenger of Allah said, the man's water is thick and white, and the women's water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them come first, the, the baby resembles the parents. So Muhammad here explains. This is absolutely false. This is absolutely false. 
Not only that, I'll show you more. This is just the beginning. Okay. This is Sahih Hadith. Um Salim, she asked the Messenger of Allah about a woman who see a dream. And look how filthy, I mean, the, with, the, with no shame, a woman, she is coming to Muhammad saying she was touching her vagina and she have orgasm. Yeah, I also think, how can uh, the woman tell? But in his, uh, Muhammad, Muhammad is the <laughs> expert of sex, he's Dr. Sex, he's Dr. Dr. Phil. So who sees, uh, 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 Muslim, she said to Muhammad, uh, uh, asking Allah, uh, 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 Messenger of Allah, about a woman who sees in her dream something like which men sees so she is masturbating dreaming about men doing bang bang to her the messenger of Allah said if she sees that he uh, uh, and has this charge this charge then let her perform bath Um Salama and this is the wife of Muhammad said oh messenger of Allah does really that happen by the way Um Salama do you know who's Um Salama no this is the wife of Muhammad a Muslim she never have orgasm because she is asking Muhammad really she, woman she have this charge <laughs> that's mean Muhammad never 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 made his wife have orgasm this is how good he is in sex his wife she is like what really women they have orgasm what are you serious and look what Muhammad said. Yes, the water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Whichever of them come first, the child resembles the parents. Do you see it? Yes, it is false. It's false. Your prophet is false, my friend. Leave Islam. Come on, be a man. Be the man who, who make a decision. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, no, if no. these are stories are true, then of course it's all made up story. Okay. So are you uh, by the way, how how other people who reported this story? Because Oh, this is Umu Salama, the wife of Muhammad, the wife of Muhammad, and now you see it's Sahih. Do you see it says Sahih? Sahih. Yes. Okay. I'm seeing it so okay. but these are personal stories. This can should not be distributed as a book. My friends, my friend, who care about they are personal or not? They dispute them and they are there and they expose Muhammad. So now it's your decision. After all what you saw, really you want to stay as a Muslim? Just I think if these are all are true, then yes, of course. Okay, so say I am true. out of Islam. Say it. <laughs> Do I need to say it? Why not? Why People not? can understand. Why not? Because I want to I wanna see that you made a smart you, intelligent decision i mean i i'm wasting my time with my friend would you know i'm explaining to you because i uh, 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 uh just i want to talk open my mouth no i have a target and the target is to share the truth and i want to see my, my truth I, I is do, giving fruit. i want to double check after this my friend this. here we go yes. we are doubling does it say hadith on, sahih on the front of you or not this yes, is this same. is sunnah.com my friend is this is not a christian.com do you see it this is sunnah.com right okay okay so how we can double check more than this what you would do what extra you can do you will go to the time of muhammad no that's it this is the I, hadith written I, by the muslims approved by the but, muslim muslims and it's authentic so what we can do more Because I want to ask some sheikhs and other people. The sheikh they will say to you, it's Sahih, it's in the front of you. <laughs> Come on, my friend, this is the sheikh. This is this is Sahih. This is a, this is Ibn Majah. We can show it to you from Al Bukhari. This is the biggest sheikh. What sheikh? Those are the real sheikh, not the one like Zakir Naik and the potato. Those are the big ones. Zakir Naik, he read their books to speak about Islam. What sheikh? Don't you see, my friend? Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. Okay, Anas yes. ibn Malik, this is one of the companions of Muhammad, reported about a Mus Muslim, narrated that she asked Allah Messenger about women who sees a dream, what man sees, sexual dream. The Messenger of Allah uh, said, in case women sees that, she must take a bath. Hello, Christian okay. Prince. Actually, hmm. my uh, faith uh, in Islam is strong because I believe Muhammad 
was a very generous man and very kind man. And but I also heard from some Christians that he was a very ruthless man. Is that true? I don't understand what you said. Can you repeat again? You believe my faith of in Islam is strong because I believe Muhammad was a very kind and generous man. Okay. Muhammad was but very kind and generous man. Are you sure? Yes, but I some Christians <laughs> he was very, very that's a good, ruthless. That's he, a good he, one. He, that's a good one, my friend. Muhammad, he was the biggest criminal ever. Let me ask you a question. Starting with Muhammad's personal life, do you think it's a nice gentleman? He will have sex with a child. No. Okay. How Muhammad he at the age of fifty-four he thought for a second to marry Aisha at the age of six. What will make a man at the age of fifty-four? I don't know what how old how old are you, my friend. What will make you in such an age think to have a sexual attention? Just to think about it. Of a child at the age of six, and this is Sahih Bukhari, and this is Sahih. What do you think? Is that a behavior of a gentleman? If a man come to your house, and I want you to be honest, and he is fifty-four years old, and he said to you, "I like your daughter; she is hot. I want to marry her." What you will do? Be honest. What I will do? Yeah, what you will do? You will say you are gentleman. You are welcome. No, I I don't think he's a gentleman. Okay, but you, what you think about him? He will think what? He's a scumbag. He is a perverted man. What you will be honest? Mm, this was not good. Yeah, so he's not a gentleman. He's not a good man, because you see, in order to think, just to think about a child, in a sexual way. That is proof that I am not a good man. You do not need tons of proofs. That's it. A man, he is a prophet of God. Already he is married. He have wives. So why he is thinking about even a child? What about, okay, the tribe is full of women. There's women. Women, they have a breast. They have legs. They have, I don't want to describe, but I'm talking, if he is, if he is a crazy about sex, that's okay, no problem. Go to a woman, even, even, even dogs don't have sex with little puppies. They sniff them. They they can they can sniff the female if she is really uh, 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 in in the Matthew, age. Yeah, so Muhammad let him be the same as a dog. Sniff her. She is a child. She is a six years old. She have no breast. She have no bum. She have no legs. She have nothing. She is just a baby. So what will make a man? Think about a child to be his wife unless he is mentally ill and he is perverted. Yeah, this is not good. So, is Muhammad still a gentleman for you? <laughs> I'm confused, brother. My friend, come on, be honest with yourself. Because I fear him a lot. My when friend. I go outside, I see vehicles and i thought if i die what will happen to me uh you, you are afraid they will kill you uh if i pronounce my okay don't, they don't pronounce my friend I, I respect but i understand that already you did i'm going to have hung up on you and i i, 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 I have some question about kitchen all right no problem but i now and okay I, I got what i want no problem go ahead what is your question uh, the in the Old Testament there are, uh, there are some dietary restrictions uh, for the Jews. They cannot eat pig. They cannot eat camel, rabbit, mm. and all other things. Mm. Uh, do Christians need to follow them? It's not about we need to follow or not. Everything happened for a reason. As an example, uh, if if the reason is about uh, something have to do with health, because you see. When God he forbid things, he don't forbid it just to forbid. As an example, uh, you know when when God he made the, you you know that the Jews they respect the Sabbath, right? Sabbath, which is Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Okay. Uh, that was not really because God he cared for the Sabbath for Himself as much it was for the benefit of the man. The Jews they love money, and they will not take a break. They have servants. And they made them work seven days a week, non-stop. So the Sabbath was made to force them 
to stop they are so obsessed with money and they don't want to stop he forced the Sabbath on them so it was for the benefit of the man not for the benefit of God this is why Jesus said Sabbath was made for the man not man made for the Sabbath same as other things as an example you know that the camels they live in the desert right mm -hmm. okay because they live in the desert that make them they are designed not to consume water is that correct I consume water and save them in their belly yeah, no, it's, the, not really, the, it's not really they save it as much they they are designed not to consume too much because it doesn't matter like, like as an example we have an elephant he drink a lot of water Mm. But he cannot survive long without water, correct? Yes. That's mean he is consuming it fast. Yes. Okay. The camel is different. The camel is a desert animal. He knew yeah. his design that he have a limited source of water. So when he got water, yes, he drink as much as he can, but still he consume as as little as he can. The same as all animals who live in the desert. This is why you will see that if you are bitten by a snake in the desert. The bite of a snake of a desert is a lot more harmful than a snake live next to a river, correct? Uh, I don't agree that deserts, most of the desert lived snakes are poisonous, but uh, some snakes. Uh, there is some exception, no problem. But I'm saying, generally speaking, that the less this water you have, the more the, the more your poison is concentrated. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now the, the same as the same as a hour. scorpion, the same. So the camel, because he don't, he don't, uh, he he's made not to lose too much water, that will keep a lot of poison in his body. Same as the pigs. The pigs they don't sweat, mm. and that make them keep the poison in their body. Right. Now. Yes. But it doesn't doesn't make the pig killing you. However, there's additional reason for the pig. Pigs they use to grow in the field, and pigs they eat anything, even dead animals. And that can bring a disaster to your family because it can bring disease, and even they can eat a human being. You know, we are talking about old days where where the, the bandit attack the pirate, they attack each other in the in the street, they kidnap people, they kill them, they throw them in the road. The pigs they come and they eat them, dead body. So pigs, they are not growing in a field which is taking care of a human being and nobody knows what they are eating. Those are dangerous to eat. At the same time, it's even proven scientifically that pigs, they, uh, uh, they store a lot of uh, poison inside them. But it's not going to kill you if you eat it, if that is the only reason. But there is no way I'm going to eat a pig who ate a human being. Right? Yeah. So there is a reason always for everything. So the Bible, when when he ordered the Jews, that is for survival, not because God really he care for a camel, or he care for a pig. You got my point? It was for the benefit of the man, not for the benefit mm -hmm. of God. Now, for us as a Christians, for us as a Christians, mm -hmm. uh, 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 we are not people who don't follow the Old Testament, and you know uh, what Jesus taught us that it, the Jews they have an idea that if you eat something that will make you dirty the same as the Muslims Jesus he mm. taught them that this is not even accurate because it's not what make you dirty is what go from your mouth what it come from your mouth I don't know if you agree with that if I eat if I eat something dirty am I dirty mm. Or by speaking dirty language will make me dirty so by being a bad person that will make you dirty that's what the, what the logic of Jesus the Jews they have their own okay. understanding of the Bible they get it always wrong the same as the Sabbath that's why Jesus correct them always he said the Sabbath was made for the man not the man made for the Sabbath so Jesus he is teaching the same teaching but the Jews have a wrong understanding this is why he was proving them always wrong the same as a stoning women to death they go after the women but there's no man where is the man how you stone a woman for death and there's no man so they go after the poor women and all of them they are a bunch of hypocrites sinners and they are judging a woman for something all of them they do so he said to them if any of you is not a sinner stone her 
so what Jesus confirmed to us that the Jews yes they have a law but obviously they are being a hypocrite and they are not practicing the law as it should be and that goes for the food that goes for the practice that goes for the tradition and etc so for us as a Christians we have the best teacher who explained things to us which is the Lord himself so the Lord corrected the Jews and for sure he corrected us after them did I answer you <laughs> and sir answer was very long I want to short answer okay the, 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 the short answer is that God he made things for a reason and the reason is for the benefit of the man if the benefit of the man is not there the, re the reason is not there I ask that uh, there are some dietary restriction in the Old Testament and I told do you I modern, you why do modern Christians need to follow and I told you why. and I told you why because if the pig was eating a human being and today is not eating a human being so it's okay if uh, 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 the camel is still poison and actually even the pork actually Christians is not about they don't follow but this is like a, a, a an own personal decision so if you think this is what is good for you go and eat it but that that will not really offend God but the Jews they, they were in the stage of survival and because they are in the stage of survival the the law came to to for them to survive everything have a reason so for us as a Christian still we follow the Old Testament who said we don't there's nowhere there's nowhere it says that uh, uh, you know uh, like okay go and eat pork but at the same time Jesus explained pork is like the Bible is make it clear that is not good to eat pork but not because God he will punish you for eating pork it's not because God will be angry from you for eating pork but this is because it's not good for you so there is there is a huge difference between why I eat and why I don't eat based on religion based on Islam it's forbidden but nobody knows why if I ask you now why the Quran forbid eating the pork there's no answer why Christian prince mm. in Islam you know that the haram foods if you eat them uh, there will be guna uh -huh. there will be what? but guna I mean uh, guna good sin uh, that uh, uh, then you your prayer will not be accepted you if you eat haram foods no for that's, 40 not, days. that's not true that's not true the Quran the same verse forbid you from eating the pork is the same verse approve you to eat the pork don't you know that oh uh -huh. okay well let us go to the Quran Chapter 5 verse number 3 is the one speak about forbidding for you to eat pork But at the end of the verse says but if any one of you is forced in, into hunger eat all of those things <laughs> The same verse yes in in Situations where the situation is not okay. Favorable me, to you. Okay. Let me show you how stupid this statement is here. It sounds logical, right? Yes, okay, but in different verse in the Quran Allah he first the Jews into hunger and they he told them not to do fishing in Saturday <clears throat> huh? told them not to do fishing in Saturday and then he made the fish not to come to them except in Saturday so he forced them into hunger and then after that because they did fishing in Saturday because they are hungry Allah he turned them into pigs and monkeys what is the logic since I wanted to uh, reach you in a point in the day, I uh, asked you that in Islam, if you eat haram foods, your prayers will not be accepted for. My friend, days. my friend, but I, I, I want, I want, I want, I want you to focus, my friend. I want to focus with me. The verse you uh, said to me, okay, if you are hungry, you can eat, right? We agree. In the other verse, okay, here we go. The Jews, Allah, He forced them. That the fish will not come to them unless it is Saturday but he forced them not to fish in Saturday and now they are hungry so they eat in Saturday and they fish in Saturday and Allah he made them pigs and monkeys why Allah don't make the pigs uh, the Muslims pigs and monkeys if they eat pork he forbid them from eating pork if they are hungry and why if the Jews are hungry they cannot eat and fish and this is fish not even pork and do you see the logic why he gave a license for the Muslims that if you are forced into hunger, 
then eat whatever you want, even pork. But in the case of the Jews, they are hungry and they cannot find their fish, and they are fishermen. This is this how they live. Yet Allah He made them pigs and monkeys, which is a very stupid story, just because they did fishing on Saturday. Do you get my my uh, my yes, point? Yes, I get your point. Okay. I can get your point. That it's not fair because if all of us we are human and all of us we worship the same God as as Islamic claim, okay, be be just. The Muslims yes, I, eat I agree with you that this this was not hmm. uh, fair for all people. It was not fair to those people that are turned into monkeys and pigs. Hmm. Anything but, else? Um, I, yeah. But I asked you that uh, in Judaism, hmm. is it similar to Islam that if Jews eat pork and camel, they, they the Muslims can eat camel. The Muslim can eat yes. camel, but the Jews they cannot. And this is a proof again that Muhammad it cannot be from the same God, the same religion, because why he is making the camel lawful for them, and he pick up what he like. He pick up the pork. How come God he changed his mind? Why it was yeah. forbidden? Like the rabbit was for, uh, forbidden, the camel is forbidden, the pork is forbidden. Okay, why Allah he changed his mind and he kept the pork and he did not keep the, the, the rabbit, he did not keep the camel. Actually, I think that in Middle East, uh, the pork is generally a bad animal to be consumed. That's why Muhammad Made no, Muhammad, it haram. Muhammad is just copying the Jews. Muhammad, everything in his religion is about copying the Jews. And I can show you that. I will show you a clear proof. Have you ever heard of something called the punishment of the grave? Hmm? Have you ever heard of something called the yes, punishment of the grave? Of the grave yes. All right. Where Muhammad Adam, did Adam. that? Where did that come from? I don't know. From the Jews. From the Jews. Muhammad never spoke about the punishment of the grave until a Jewish woman, she came to Aisha and she said to him that there is seek refuge from the punishment of the grave. And then Aisha, she said to her, you're a liar. There is no such a thing. And then Muhammad, he heard her talking to the woman. She said, what's the problem? Why you are shouting? She said, this woman, she said, there's a punishment of the grave. <laughs> this is crazy. So Muhammad, he said to her, yes, yes. Hmm? You know? Here we go. Read, read this hayut with me. A Jewish woman, you see the screen? Mm. A Jewish woman entered into, uh, into me, Aisha speaking. The one is talking is Aisha. And she said, the torment of the grave is because of urine. See, this is a Jewish. The Jewish, they have a lot of false teaching too in the, in the Talmud. And uh, you know, and, and some books is not from the holy book, legions and fairy tale stories. I said, I she said to her, oh, You are lying. She said, No, it's true. We cut our skin and the clothed because of it. Which means if a, if a, imagine if a if a urine touched their skin, they will cut their skin. This is how crazy it is. The it's messenger, convenient. yeah, the messenger of Allah went out to pray. And our voices became loud. He said, "What is this?" She, she, Aisha, she said. So I told him what she had said, which means the Jewish woman. He said she spoke the truth. And then she said, "Look what she said." And after that day, he never offered any prayer, but he say the following after prayer. that day. <laughs> after that day, you see, you got it right away. You are smart. So after that day, guys, Muhammad Aisha is a wife of Muhammad. She never heard Muhammad mentioning that thing. To the point, she accused the women of what? Of being a liar, right? Now Muhammad, he heard the idea. He like it. After that day, he never pray, unless he say, "I seek refuge by Allah from the push of the grave." <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, it became Stupid. so important. Suddenly, this prayer became so important. Suddenly, he cannot pray without saying it. But he never said that before. If you uh, type on YouTube, Ajab, cover Ajab, you'll find some funny stuff. 
I mean, Islam Actually. is a stupid religion, my friend. Anyway, I'm so glad that you left Islam, even if you don't want to say so. But I understand you're afraid. Uh, I'm I'm happy for you, my friend. But before you leave, I will do my duty to invite you to accept my Lord and my Savior as your Lord. I understand you are afraid to say. You can leave me a text in Skype, and I will be happy to hear from you. A lot of you uh, are in this religion. You cannot just get out of it. No, you can, so my friend. You can, and you're already out. You're already out. I get it. You're already out. And you just you just said made fun of it. You know, you just made fun of it. Come on. You are already out. Anyway, if you want to say it, it's up to you. Thank you, for my friend, for calling. And you can leave me a message in the text if you decide to, to accept the Messiah because you are afraid to say. All right? Okay. Okay, take care. God bless you. Good luck.